What's going on guys? Today I wanted to do a quick review of my MPPT solar charge controller and this is actually not an MPPT controller. Apparently that's just the name that could be seen by some as a little bit misleading but um, is what it is. It's a good charge controller. It's just not MPPT. So I'll get into it. As you can see the solar panels are currently charging the battery. There's no load and that's why there's no moving arrow. So this is the button that you can scroll through the menus with. As you can see there in the top right it's 15 degrees Celsius. I'm getting 1.9 amps currently. I have no load. 91 amp hours of uh, charge power. Oops, I keep letting it <laughs> go back. 7 amp hours of load power. So there you have it. And then you can see the plus and minus here. Um, this is just mainly for adjustment. Um, so as you can see here, I just turned load on and I don't have anything plugged in to the load side of this. I just have uh, my batteries charging here and solar connected directly into it. Um, not a lot of people really use uh, the, the, uh, the load as far as what I've seen. It's been an excellent charge controller for what it is, but make no mistake about it, it's really not designed to be an MPPT um, controller. So it's not going to give you that kind of functionality, but it does give you a lot of information that's really useful. It's been an awesome device for me. It tells me the uh, status of my battery, um, how many volts I'm putting out, and how many amps are coming in. And it allows you to turn off the um, load setting, which is really good. It has two USB plug-ins, so you can charge a phone off of this. Uh, I don't really have this accessible. If I'm going to charge a phone, I have my batteries actually plugged into 110 volt um, plug-ins. So, actually, there it is right there. And basically, that that runs my whole setup. And right now, I've got a lot of condensation, so you'll have to excuse the fogginess going on. But that is, as far as I know, um, most everything you need to know about this charge controller. There's not a real comprehensive owner's manual. Uh, they do have an owner's manual, which I'll put a picture of that up on the screen just in case you guys don't have it. And you can um, hopefully get some good information from there if you are lacking any information about this thing. That is all I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.